it's me Kia and today on Sticky Saturday I'm going to be teaching you how to make my wrap wallet and I use purple zebra and new pastel purple so what you're going to need is at least one roll of tape, an exacto knife, a ruler, and a cutting board. You'll also need some ID plastic and although it's optional you probably should grab some clear tape as well and that'll just help the wallet last and it'll keep it clean so that um, you know two years down the road after using the wallet you're not gonna be like wow this looks like crap <laughs> all right so let's get started creatures so just make sure you clear tape um, and DM crafts has a really good tutorial out for that so you should check that out um, she doesn't use duck brand packaging tape I do, um, and that's, I don't know, I, I don't really focus too much on the clear taping, and duck brand packaging tape works for me, so I just use it. So then you're just going to flip it over, and you're going to make sure that you leave a fourth of an inch of sticky on all sides using your outside color. Okay, so after you have the outside done, first what you're going to do is go ahead and once again clear tape the outside just clear tape the seams and just smooth out from the middle and trim off the excess of course and then when you flip it over, this is how it should look, and it should have a fourth of an inch of sticky on all sides. Next, I'm going to make the hidden, and that is going to be four inches by 2.75 inches. Okay, and now that you have your little hidden made, I have clear tape on the inside, and I have some sticky from the clear tape on the side of it. I'm just going to attach it like so. So I'm just going to line it up and attach it. Okay, now I'm just going to cut a slit on the side, okay. and then we are going to just uh, fold that trim down. Cut off the little corners and fold them in. And now you have your first hidden pocket complete. And since there's a little bit of excess on the sides, I'm just going to snip that. And then I'm going to get to work on the ID. So with the ID, I already have mine made. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know how to do the IDs. Um, now I'm just going to clear tape it. I'm just going to put a little bit over the trim, maybe like one eighth of an inch over the trim. And 
and then I'm going to cut a little bit over a fourth. Fold it over. Um, and now we're going to attach the ID in the same fashion that we attached the hidden pocket. Okay, so now that your ID is attached, we're going to go through and make the very middle piece. Um, now you can go through and make it with um, and make it with clear tape if you want to, but since I'm using purple, I'm just going to use the inside color for the whole thing. So you're going to make this three inches by three point seven five inches. Now you do want to be careful that the inside of the flap, you want to make sure that the inside of the flap is going to be laying vertically. This way, when you go and you do the outside part of the flap, when it's folding over, um, it won't be lumpy on the sides. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. The inside be laying with the line going vertically. And then you're going to flip it on its side, and from the bottom up, you're going to make sure, all except for the very bottom, you're going to make sure that you leave a fourth of an inch of sticky on all sides. Okay, now you're going to line this up directly with the cutting board and then flip this up. I've got some clear tape on mine and you're going to put this, you're going to line it up so that it is exactly three inches in. That way you know it's exactly in the middle. And then you're going to flip it up. And afterwards, you can take this and then just flip the rest of the trim up in there. And then you're just going to cut the slits out. And this is how your wallet should look. Thanks so much for watching, creatures. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more, or if you have any requests, just comment down below what you want to see. Thanks so much for watching, creatures, and I'll see you next time. Bye!